What's up, y'all? Oh, my God. It's your boy, Spirit Baby Kill, and we back with another message. Hit y'all with an instant. Nine times out of ten, if you hear right now, this message probably meant for you. So take what resonates. Leave the rest out. Everything is for the highest good. No harm and none. No deception. No trickery. Let's dive right into it. Let's see where we're going to start at and what kind of message this will be. I got four decks that I got to run through and do four different messages for you guys. Five, actually, because I got my handmade Oracle deck. So five messages that'll be coming after this when 33 on the clock as i say that um like i said before nine times out of ten if you hear right now this message is probably meant for you so take a resonate leave the rest out uh i'm still giving away free readings for the rest of the year so if you come across this message like this follow me share it and comment done and you can get a free message to your inbox make sure you open the um message request or whatever the thing is 55 on the clock as i say that let's dive right into it the first deck i pulled up was my angel cards so we're gonna see what messages we get from the angels i like this little spot right here oh this is a vibe okay 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 let's see what the angels tell us Train in the back, Lord Ganesh. Thank you for um, making yourself noticeable with that train in the back. My biggest fear is when I move uh, places that I have to have a train around me. I grew up uh, with a train next, directly in front of my house my whole life, 1.33 on the clock as I say that. So I'm pretty used to a train being around me. I kind of need that. It's a little confirmation for me. But yeah. One four four on the clock as I say that. One four four chosen or not. Well, we got Selma Gabriel. Stand up for what you believe in. Have confidence. Claim your personal power. Oh, and the dirty fingernails rolling up. Selma Gabriel. That's like Selma one, but you know basically exactly what he's saying. Stand up. Stand up for what you believe in. Don't let nobody alter your um path. Don't let nobody alter your mindset. You know, it's okay to take um, constructive criticism. It's okay to take opinions so you can be able to blend things in with what you got going on. But sometimes you just got people that are just two, two, two on the clock, as I say that. You got people that are just hate us and ain't got nothing going on in their life. So they trying to figure out how they can goddamn stir you from what you got going on in your life so you can be at the same level as them. Two, three, three on the clock, as I say that. So make sure you stand enough for what you believe in. And, um... Claim your personal power. Having confidence is going to give you the energy to claim your personal power because it's going to take a lot of power. Not that much, but it takes uh, the starting action of it. The um, Stand up for yourself. You know, it takes a little a little strength. Then the energy just flow because it's like, okay, you, you took the first step and you know how the universe works. We'll do the rest. Ten of Ariel. There is so much to be grateful for. Financial success and the promise of retirement. A rich and rewarding family life. Yeah, stand up for what you believe in. This is in home. You got 313 on the clock, as I say that. 313 was on a Tesla. And if y'all know by now, I'm manifesting me a Tesla. I don't care what nobody else say. I just want to get me a Tesla because that's going to be my ultimate traveling um transportation. But we got right here. I'm using that as an example because it's like I had 33 on the clock, as I say that. 333 three, three on the clock, as I say that. Wow, fuck. I really want to test it, like I said, once again, and I had people come across me and tell me, why you want to test the this about the test all the cons of it. Nobody giving out no type of pros, because, like, everything comes with pros and cons, but it's just like, that's what I want, and that's what I want to do with my life. It's different as hell, and it's so out of the box that, of course, these regular schmegler ass people going to be like, shit, you shouldn't get a test You can't get a test All this out of the box, but with the 10 bullshit, with the 10 of every L, which is like the Ten of Pentacles basically saying you got to stand up for what you believe in because once you stand up for what you believe in, like I said once before, job-wise, business-wise, family unit-wise, like if you're not with the toxicity, the universe is going to bag you up times 10 because you were probably 9 times out of 10, the first person out of the family unit, um, group unit, community union to do something different so of course them type of people are gonna go against you because it's like a high mindset we're gonna kill you if you go against our high because we built this you know this is a structure we built around if you're trying to fuck up the structure you're an outcast so stand up for what you believe in because once you do that four 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 nine five as i say that support will be given you're gonna be led straight into that ten of pentacles energy if um 
this material, tenor area, I was going to say emotional fulfillment, so that might be too, most definitely emotional fulfillment is going to come through, but it'll be uh, financial fulfillment, you building that dream life that you uh, desire, because obviously you got people around you that's telling you, you shouldn't do this, you can't do this, you can do whatever the fuck you want to, 5.13 on the clock as I say that, you can do whatever the fuck you want to, of course it's going to take some reprogramming and you have to go through the journey by yourself to do it but shit these people can't tell you what to do if they ain't doing it they sell let's pull one more because once you get that mindset and you keep going forward to what you're trying to get to you will be led into the ten of pentacles ten of ariel abundance success wealth that completion of this cycle you going through everything your ancestors the people before you your community didn't been through you ain't finna do it so you get to get away from it because you stood up for what you believe in and had confidence in what you what you was doing Take it where it resonates because you can be doing anything that's different or just 555 five, five on the clock. Not getting as much support as you would have hoped for. And it seems like you're getting a lot more pushback than support. So once you stand up for what you believe in and understand it's supposed to go like that because you got a whole spiritual army behind you. Then you get pushed into the 10 of Ariel, which is the 10 of Pentacles. Completion of a uh, material cycle into a new beginning. You know how the energy go. And as I said, we got number 21. Leveling up into a new beginning. The world archangel Michael came through and showed himself very heavily. So, yeah. We had Gabriel Ariel, but we had a major arcana with archangel Michael. So, I want to... I want to say Archangel Michael is very significant in his reading. It says a very happy ending coming full circle. Like I said, 10. You continue to stand up for what you believe in. It's going to close out this cycle. And the cycle will be completed so you can hop into the world position. So you can start this new beginning. A very happy ending coming full circle. Spiritual growth and insight. You ain't go through none of this for no reason. You learned a lot. So when you go off into the world, you won't be so much of a fool. You get it. Sell more, sell on the clock, as I say that. You won't be so much of a fool. You can be more of a magician. Sell me love on the clock, as I say that. Very powerful message. Very powerful message. Like I said once before, if you want a, um, a free message like this, share it uh, with a friend or however you want to share it. Uh, make sure you are following me and then come in, you're done. Make sure your message requests are open so I can um, see your reading. And as always, have a blessed, abundant timeline. Thank you for stopping by. Our angel Michael popped through. Archangel Gabriel and Archangel Ariel have a blessed, abundant timeline.